here with my boys today, Chica and Luta. And uh, what are we talking about today, boys? We're going to be talking about um, Daddy and the Mr. The, dad. Yeah. And the life of our dad. The life of your dad? Yeah. Uh, what, when did your dad pass away? Oh, I would say about five, six years ago. Five years ago. Do you know the date, Chica? Yeah, November 17th, 2007. Okay. Were you in first grade? Yeah, I was in first grade. And you, were you in school? Preschool. Pre Do you remember much about your dad? Mm -hmm. I mean, more than what yeah. What do you remember? He used to take us to the park and I um, used to spend time with me now. And, um, Lota, what about you? Do you remember anything at all? Well, I remember that he had this golden truck, but that's yeah, yeah. not much. Yeah. That's not, you don't remember much about his person or his, um, personality he, or... He gym? liked to go to the gym a lot. Oh, he worked out a lot? Yeah. Okay. And he owned the shop before you did for uh, African Grid and Food Marketing. Okay. Do you, um, do you miss him? Yeah. I'll you miss having a dad? Yeah. You do? Do you remember anything that people tell you about your dad? Since you don't remember him too well, do you remember anything that people, people tell you? He was very friendly and very nice. I, I agree. Yeah. Do you feel bad not having a dad? Um, so and so. Well, um, I do really feel bad because I have no one to really look up to except like um, older family members or older people. You miss having yeah. a dad, living with a dad, yeah. a real, a male role model, somebody that, yeah. you know, and I see. I kind of am okay with it because then um, I learn how to um, bear with emotional stuff and like I can still go through my day without like thinking about it almost every minute. I see. And um, do you know what, what kind of disease? Do you know the um, name of it? It was yeah. cancer, but I don't know what type. No type. Okay. Well, uh, it was kind of like a, a blood cancer, and um, it was one of those, you know, things. You guys are too young, so even if people were around, there's no way to really understand it. But um, cancer is a disease that affects uh, people, many different people, and it's a disease that a lot of people uh, are fighting, and you know, there's a lot of medical breakthroughs to help, you know, find a cure, but it's still far, far away. And I think the most important thing um, is understanding the body and making sure you get checked regularly. And if there's a family history, uh, you need to make sure that you, you know, stay on top of your health and eating healthy. Uh, but I'll talk to you guys more about it later as you get older so that you can understand it more. Um, so how, how do you think your dad would feel about where you are today in life and in school and just generally? I think he would say, um, I'm proud of you, Chica. You're doing well. You're going to go far. Good. Good. What about you? What do you think your dad would say about I would you? say, like, keep, um, I think he would say, like, keep going and you're doing good. You're doing good. You guys think you're, you're going to make your dad proud, you're going to make your family members proud, and, um, Perhaps you'll be part of the uh, group of people that might either directly maybe find a cure or contribute towards finding a cure to the education fees, right? So do you have, say, if, if you knew somebody right now that lost a parent, do you have something kind or nice that you'd like to tell them just to make them feel better? Because um, you kind of know what it feels like not to have a parent. I one would of your say um, I feel your pain and that you shouldn't let that affect your life and your personality. Wow, okay. That's pretty good. Interesting. You know, words from a wise eight year old. What about you, Chica? What would you tell the person, being that you kind of knew your dad a little bit more? What, what would you say? I would say that it's okay. I know what you've been going through, so just um, keep going on. Don't let it stop you. Mm -hmm. um, keep trying to achieve what you're doing. I Maybe see. he'll be looking down on you or she'll be looking down at you. I saying see. that um, he turned out great. 
Computers, or you want to build the software, the applications. What what is um, your? I want to do that and also mechanical because. Oh, you know, the, like, the yeah. hardware, mm-hmm. the back, you know, the in, inside of the engineer. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the inside of the computer, right? What about you, Lota? Well, I would like to be a professional soccer player. I would also like to be a lawyer, and I'd also like to be um, the engineers that build houses. Okay. Not the, Not the other one. Not All right. Either. So, as far as the lawyer part is concerned, what do you know that lawyers do? Well, like, the lawyers, they, you know, if someone has a case, they can be your, like... They can they, represent yeah, you? Yeah, they can. They can speak on your behalf? Yeah. Okay. So, what kind of case are you talking about? Like... Business case, criminal case. Oh, go business. Business. Okay, that sounds good. Well, it, it sounds like uh, someone's gonna be taking care of me pretty soon. You know, I'd like to retire. <laughs> Not that. Uh, that one is won't stop. <laughs> you know, because um, you know, I would like to not work. Well, I can't say it's been easy being um, single mom or losing a spouse, but I can say that. It's probably been the most challenging uh, thing that I never planned on doing. But um, as a mom, I feel like I'm so grateful to have these two wonderful boys and to be able to rise to the challenge of raising them. My goal really is to make sure that I give them the best that uh, I possibly can and to make sure that they have a strong foundation uh, to stand on and also to um, hopefully supersede whatever legacy that their dad left behind, be it business or his humanitarian nature and his you know, wonderful characteristics, uh, character traits that people talked about. So thank you so much for tuning in and um, I wish you and your family and your loved ones a wonderful, wonderful um, time, and excuse me. You want what? You want to say something? Yeah. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Well, because don't don't look at Chica. Just look. You are ta- you you were saying us like you want us to have a better future, um, and pass on um our 
legacy of our dad. Well, I wanted to just say that um that um I was actually going to a field trip um in on Thursday to Stanford and I would think that would be a great opportunity for me to, you know, like have them to know me and when I grow up I might be able to go there. Oh, go there and do what? And either you learn about the jobs I oh, said I or just be part of the community there? Yeah. Is that is that because your dad passed away in that hospital or that's why you were treated? Do you have any particular reason for choosing Stanford? Well, well, yeah, cause because I also like it because I know it's a really good college, and then you oh, would okay. like that. Oh, so. okay. Yeah, no problem. Whatever you decide to do, um, as long as you're happy and you're excelling, I'll be very proud of you. Chica, any any final words? Um. Well. Yeah. Well, I really loved my dad being here for the time that he was here. It was very um, good to have someone to watch over me besides my mom, who was very um, thankful for the life that he's lived and what he's done. And, um, if you are one of those kids who are like me, just don't like, you don't really have to be mad per se, just you have to live with it and know that that's how it's going to be, but it's still cool. And what I would say was just keep rocking, just 